I was invited by Jaji and George. Uh, I, we were really interested in creating a space where we could have uh, some discussions. They came up with this, I think, a little bit because we were talking about zombies and we were talking about uh, city experiences and I think it was sort of a play, creating a place where these discussions could happen, could take place. I'm really excited about this, like, not just traveling from afar, but just la uh, like yesterday looking at the space uh, setup, I was just really in this anticipation for it. And it's like, uh, uh, my expectation was sort of, uh, it's like going to an amusement park where the rides are uh, for artists. <laughs> so I'm really excited about the day. Yes, I have. Uh, and, but not, al not always with their, um, with their permission, I the the, the work that I do with um, hula hoops and uh, hoop jams, it it is often just uh, we make it happen. It's not a very structured thing. I have learned uh, the 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 hard way that sometimes it is better to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. So. Unless we need something uh, like I work with a with a wireless PA system for the for the audio, so unless we really need something, uh, I'll just uh, work it as an invasion. But my experience with privately owned spaces has been interestingly, they have been more uh, welcoming than public space uh, than public spaces. I think public spaces, especially in Brazil, which is a bureaucratic uh, place, especially bureaucratic place, I think pu public spaces have more of an expectation of protocol, uh, and private spaces are just happy that you're there, that you're making use of it. Most of the times, I'm not hmm. sure uh, if you're doing more provocative things, that it, it could be the other way around. Hmm. In Brazil, there is definitely a tendency to rely on, on public funding and that even though this is is really important and it enables people to do uh, amazing things it is also ha it also has a certain incentive uh, at least to me from my perspective a certain in 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 incentive to not connecting with audiences it's like it's safe to be an artist who is uh, funded uh, to do anything and it doesn't matter if, if audiences will connect with it. I and From what I understand, uh, in Europe you have much more of a um, uh, comp composite uh, like funding. You, you, you get part of the funding from this place and then you get part of the funding and you have sort of uh, trade-offs which in, in my experience aren't uh, really it isn't something I could talk about because I don't have that experience but I find it interesting interesting the concept what I think um, what, I, what I think in my uh, perspective as a Brazilian uh, talking thinking about uh, this uh, aspects of business uh, models is just that I, I, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur like I like doing things I like building things so that you can make the rules and I think uh, this is something that public funding um, often doesn't let you do just make the rules uh, and then if you're if you're creating the the thing of course uh, it also poses many questions uh, especially regarding certain types of work which wouldn't as easily be privately funded or profitable and but I think the, it is a very healthy discussion, the discussion of business in uh, the arts. And it's a discussion that people are afraid of. Uh, I can sense that very much in Brazil, and I, I, I tend to think that here as well, that people uh, think that their art will be less artistic if they talk about money and sustainability and economics.